Okay, welcome to uh, 3.2 day 2 today. And just want to go over homework from yesterday that was about the eliminations and combinations method. So hopefully you got these. Uh, I can project some answers for you real quick here. If you want to check some of them, see how you did. Number 34 is a weird one where it didn't have a solution. We haven't really talked about that case yet, but I thought I'd throw a twist at you and see how you did. So if you didn't quite get that one, not a big deal. We'll do the no solution cases. Uh, what does it look like algebraically um, in the next lesson? Not today's, but the lesson following this, this one. So check them over. And uh, if there's any, again, that aren't making sense, maybe a neighbor can help you, the substitute can help you. Whenever you're done, feel comfortable. Just turn it in in the usual location. Make sure your name's on it and then, then throw it in there. Okay, so new stuff. 3.2 again, day two. Uh, we have one more method to learn called substitution. Take a second, jot it down in your notes. Goal is to solve a linear system using substitution. Okay, so again, don't write this part down. This is kind of big picture where we're at in this chapter. System is a group of two or more equations. So looking back one slide, we have a system there that's got x and y, that's, that's two equations. And the solution is the xy pair that works for both. So most of the time we get something like 2 and 5 for our solutions. All right, and then there's three methods for solving. The graph method, which was just plot the lines, find where they cross, zoom, zoom. That's your xy answer. And then that elimination combinations, which we did yesterday. And then we have one final method today called substitution. Here's the steps, and again, if you feel real comfortable on this, you don't necessarily need to write this down, but if, if you feel like the substitution stuff is confusing, um, here's how it works. Is It is kind of like basketball, where you're going to like substitute one player for another player, so you're going to take out uh, an x variable and replace it with some expression involving y, so it is much like sports, where you replace one player with a, a different player. Okay, but here's the step. So if it's not already true, sometimes it'll be true, but if it's not already true, you need to get x or y alone uh, in either one of the equations. So you get an x equals or y equals in either one of them. Then you're going to substitute uh, into the other equation. You'll solve for one variable, get something like x equals 7. And then much like our method from yesterday, once you have the one variable, plug it into either equation to find the other variable. Okay, so these definitely have them down. Here's our first example using substitution. And we're just going to, uh, this one, I guess, ends up being the easier, the starter one, because you have y alone already. So if you look at the second equation, we have y equals right here. All right, and so we can go ahead and plug it in um, to the other equation. We don't have to solve for x or y. We don't have to do step one. We can just plug it in right away. Okay, so we have y equals this, and I'm going to go over to the other equation, and I'm going to rewrite it, except wherever I had y, I had 4 times y, now I'm just putting a blank there, because it's getting taken out of the basketball game, it's being substituted, and in its place, since y is equal to 10 minus 2x, we can take out the y and replace it with the statement 10 minus 2x. Okay, and now we have an equation that involves just x. All right, so now we can solve that, um, solve that from there. So we'll distribute. We're just solving this equation. 40 minus 8x equals 10. Since these x's are on the same side, just combine them. Positive 3 and negative 8 combines to negative 5x. Now, just do some more algebra. Minus 40 from both sides. Divide by negative 5, get 6. Okay, and we're not quite done yet because we still have to find y. So plug in the 6 up here for x. So we have 10 minus 2 times 6. So y would be 10 minus 12, negative 2. Okay, and that's our xy solution to the system. 
All right, and all that really gets harder from here is not all the ones will have y alone. So this one was kind of easy because we had y alone first, um, and so we made our life a little bit easier. And so the next examples will get slightly more complex. Okay, so definitely jot this example down. All right, once you got it copied down, don't write down this first part. Okay, so the the hardest thing is we have to solve for y or x, one of the variables in either equation. And this is critical because if you do this wrong, you're going to end up making a mess. Okay, so I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it first. All right, so we could take this equation on the left and say, you know what, I know how to get y alone. I'm going to minus x, minus x, so get 3y equals 5 minus x, and then I would divide by 3, but now I've got a giant mess. I've got 5 thirds minus 1 third x. All right, and if possible, we'd like to avoid having to work with these weird fractions or decimals, all right, because uh, if, you know, if we continued from here, we do our substitute step, but now we're substituting with these weird decimals. Okay, so that's, that, that's not wrong. It's, it's just going to make life hard because we've got to deal with fractions. Okay, so the easier thing, and again, you can use either equation, but the easier thing is to realize, hey, I could get x alone, right? It's almost by itself already. All I need to do is do a minus 3y, and then voila, x is alone. Okay, so be smart about the first step, and, and the right one here, the easier one here, is to minus 3y. Okay, so if you haven't already, write that down, and we'll finish the rest of the steps. Okay, so I'm going to substitute for x, all right, and I'm going to take the second equation and just rewrite it except I'm going to take out x and put a parenthesis there because it's being substituted. So it was negative 2 times x, but now I just make a space there and fill in what x is equal to, 5 minus 3y. All right, and now um, just solve this for y. Now that we have an equation with just y in it, we can solve it with distributive property. And then go from there. So I'm actually going to have... You try this, see if you can get the xy solution from this point. Okay, back with you. Hopefully, you realize next that you combine these y's. So 6 minus 4y. Add 10 to both sides. So we get positive 5. Divide by 2, and oh, don't freak out. We just got decimal. That can happen. But 5 divided by 2 is just 2.5. Okay, now we got to substitute to find x. So to complete the question, um, and you can use any equation you want, either the first two, the original ones, but it's actually easiest if you just go right back over here and put y right there, all right? Because we have x equals, and then you just do 5 minus 3 times 2.5. So we get uh, 5 minus 7.5, 3 times 2.5. That's a bad 5, sorry. And then 5 minus 7.5 is negative 2.5. So our solution is y positive 2.5, x negative 2.5. Okay, last example for you. All right, and I'm just going to have you try this one on your own, and then I'll go over it with you. My hint before I let you go here is, be smart about getting x or y alone, right? So your hint is if you look on the equation on the left-hand side, you should be able to get y alone without too much difficulty. So that's where I would start. Okay, here we go with the answer. Again, we have to get y or x alone in either equation. And the easiest route here is if you realize, hey, if I just divide this by 2, everything divides nice and easy on the right-hand side there. And so now we have y alone. From here, substitute into the other equation. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do 3x minus, and then that's where y used to be. And in its place, put the statement negative 2x plus 9. Okay, and this is kind of tricky here because this, this says subtract all of y. So we have to subtract all of that statement, which essentially means... The negative symbol gets distributed to both parts. 
All right, so it's going to look like 3x plus 2x minus negative. Plus 9, when you distribute the negative, becomes like a minus 9. And that, that's real, real tricky when you have a negative there. So just, just be careful. Um, if you didn't get it right, that's, that's likely a reason. Okay, from here, 2x and 3x is easier to write as 5x, simpler to write as 5x. They're on the same side. Combine them. Add 9 to both sides. Divide by 5. Okay, and boom, we got 1. Find y. So I'm going to go over this equation and put 1 in for x. So we'll have negative 2 plus 9. And y is 7. So our solution is x1, y7. All right, so that is it. And just have uh, a few homework questions for you to try. So give them a shot. And good luck. They will be due tomorrow.